Hello, welcome to the Daily Devotion. I'm Kathy Morris, pastor of the Dixon United Methodist Church. The parables of Jesus have so much to teach us about God and about ourselves. One of the parables that has been so meaningful and people of faith over the centuries have, have really been drawn to it is the, the parable of the lost sheep. I'm reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 15, verses 1 through 7, from the New Revised Standard Version. Now all the tax collectors and sinners were coming near to listen to him, and the Pharisees and the scribes were grumbling and saying, This fellow welcomes sinners and eats with them. So he told them this parable, Which one of you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one that is lost until he finds it. When he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders and rejoices. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who need no repentance. This parable is deeply comforting. It gives us the promise that whenever we go off track, whenever we get lost, God will come and find us. God will seek us and find us because God loves us. For many of us, though, we, we may feel as though that we're already in the fold of God, and yet we know that, that we all have ways in which we go in our own direction. We put our will and our desires ahead of God's. When we do that, we, we find ourselves wandering into places and ways that, that are not safe, that, that bring sorrow and disappointment. But each time that happens, God seeks us out and leads us back. Teresa of Avila really was one of the great leaders, church leaders of the 16th century. She had a, a spiritual experience that gave her a, a very profound certainty about the love of God. However, she did not believe that everyone comes to that certainty in the same way. She wrote, God does not lead us all by the same road. So while we can be certain that God will seek us out and find us whenever we go astray, it is also true that God leads us back home in a way that is unique to us. For prayer exercise, what I'd like to suggest that you do is to pick a place that is home base. It can be inside or outside. And then once you've picked that place, go for a walk of any length. Just make sure that you make it to your home base. When you get there, rejoice. Rejoice and give thanks for God's love that always leads us home.